And here we are. I thought I'd take a break from No Man's Land and come visit the flat map, which I developed quite some time ago. Uh, I keep coming back to it every now and then. This is the uh, biggest area of farm, well, as well as the main farm area itself. Um, it's not too huge. I've seen some quite sizable pig and uh, cow farms out there, but let's have a look. All right, so here we are. Given uh, the map was totally bare, you can kind of get a sense as to the amount of work that went put in, that was put in here. Visually, it's not too appealing. It's uh, completely flat and there's no trees unless you put them there. So it's pretty organized, surrounded by fields, obviously, <laughs> and um, yeah. If you like to have a lot of pigs, this is probably the pig pen mod for you. Uh, on the other hand, there is no visual contact with the pigs whatsoever. So, windows, they're, they're concreted, so you can't even see in there. So, I don't know. This pen kind of took away from the, uh, not realism, I guess, immersion, because, um, you don't see the pigs at all. So basically, I feel like I've been feeding and, <laughs> and bedding a building. Yeah. So there you Because there's no pigs around. Anyway. Do do do. Yeah, so wow, it's been a while since I've been here. I remember all the um, hours I spent harvesting sunflower, which was crazy. I haven't used this on this map yet, but I have it on uh, other maps, and I have used it for, um, been using it for grass and grain. So, it's great. oh, this is a cute little mod right here. If you have not seen it, it is a mobile auger. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, depending on, you know, what style of farm you like to run. I like to have a variety farm for pretty much on every farm. I haven't, I haven't built a um, animal-specific farm or, you know, uh, crop-specific. I pretty much like to do everything. Um to kind of stave off monotony altogether <laughs> in the game. Uh, I have spent a lot of time on No Man's Land though. That is for sure. So. I, I did help a friend on uh, PSN plow a field on the very bottom of the map that stretched from one side to the other. Needless to say, I didn't, um, I wasn't able to stay with him for the whole plow, but uh, I gotta admire the guy for for his ambition. Uh, it's quite a sizable field compared to my sunflower field here. It's probably uh, one third or a quarter the size of the field that he's got. Anyway, so I just kind of, yeah, I was going to keep them all in, you know, this general area so I didn't have to go far, but. I mean, if you want big fields. Yeah. So. Now, I did um, develop and build this farm earlier on in my experience with farm building. So, looks pretty pristine, right? Organized, neat, um, decorated, 
to some degree. Um, textures and and um, decorations. The more you have, the more the more equipment I have, the harder I find it is to organize it because um, yeah, like bailing, snow blowing, got your you know, grass cutting. Uh, all the uh, seeding apparatuses <laughs> are here. Pull straight out. Get your fertilizer and seed and lime and whatever you need. So, this one I use the most. That's uh, on this map. At the start of a day, this is the first thing I hop into to uh, um, water and clean up the animals. So, I actually haven't used this yet. There's probably about 60 hours uh, spent on this map working it, and um, I haven't sold any bales yet. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that mod was even worth putting there and uh, taking up slots. This is my first use of the massive sheep pen, which I'm pretty sure I bought more sheep than that. <laughs> but um, yeah I was starting to fill these up with the wool pallets but found that the slot count is just uh, insane I think I had it at uh, 13 11 which is over the, the allowable and uh, I started to experience some frame rate problems so uh, so yeah I might store four or eight of them but but we don't keep too many here got another one over here Right. I was planning to just um, stock up on wool and then uh, load up a flatbed and just sell a ton at once. But given that I have this bale selling station here, which accepts the wool, so that's pretty nice. Right on the farm uh, sell station, which does not take um, eggs, so I have to bring them way over here. But, uh, yeah, this is my little oasis. This was the first time I planted poplar, and I haven't harvested it yet on this map, but I have harvested it on another map. So, um, the poplar <laughs> baling equipment is, uh, is actually the first, or oh, implanting. Is the first um, Anderson pack equipment that I've used. Well, I mean, aside from the bail collectors and the wrappers. But, um, yeah, I kind of get excited when something, when a mod comes to either the uh, PlayStation Store or the Mod Hub um, DLC or mod that's brand new to the game that, um, that isn't a revamp or a remake. Um, something totally brand new that doesn't exist in the game yet. That's really cool for me. So, obviously bigger farm, bigger machinery. <laughs> Got three of them. Because, uh, yeah, there's lots to go around. So. Now, in this timber barn... Uh, came out I thought it was pretty cool and then when I um, decided to use the attic mod or the attic version um, I discovered that you couldn't get up there <laughs> without creating uh, a way up there so originally I was going to store wool in here and then as things went on um, it changed so. but um, I give myself credit for um, nailing this so I actually did this map twice. I deleted the second um, build. But um, the second time when I went to do this, it did not look as good. It did not n look nearly as good. So, so we just kind of got everything here. I just kind of add the horses there, uh, a focus for me. I just kind of add them in to uh, round out my farms. So, there you have it.
the flat map bill. I actually didn't need this uh, food and fertilizer shop, but um, the first time I used it, that mod on, um, I think it was, uh, Oberkerbach. Is that, is it, yep, yeah, that's the name of the map, I think, Oberkerbach. Anyway. Uh, that's where I first used it, and when nighttime came and the blue lights came on, I thought that was pretty cool. Just little touches, you know. Little things you don't get from other mods. So, oh yeah, yeah. Chickens. So I fenced it in. It actually looks, um, kind of neat. <laughs> A little, little yard for them. There you go. You'll probably see this Canada flag on, uh every map <laughs> now that it's here and available I'll probably put it on every map yeah so and the little pacho tree every farm needs one good tree and then your farm is good yeah. so there we have it <laughs> yeah I did put a couple trees down because I just felt that the um, map felt kind of stagnant wasn't much life other than the uh, grass and animals <laughs> and the birds for some reason there's a lot of bird sounds when you first get on the map but there's absolutely no trees I don't know I just thought that was kind of funny uh, not necessary but thought I'd use it you know when you get to the end of your uh, slot count and uh, you've got a couple free and that's what happens so yeah not sure I'll do any work here, but uh, as far as placeables go, this map is the easiest uh, to work on because it's absolutely flat. You don't have to worry about terrain changes, uh, elevation changes when you're uh, putting down your building. So you get the bulges on the side when you don't want them or it's sunken in when you don't want it. So there are YouTube videos. Um, uh, that explain how to do all that and understand how the landscaping system works and um, Yeah, I think you know uh, Hands-on experience is the best experience. So if you've got the game, it's better um, just to hop into it have your um, The um, controls visible so then you can just kind of go through it and check them all and see what they do and anything you do in landscaping um you can instantly fix it anyway you know oops so then you just go back to gravel on that same spot and it was like it never happened so don't worry about making mistakes and um yeah ah. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll do a little bit of work. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I was tempted to add seasons to this map, but um, but yeah. So looks like everything's pretty much okay, right? Yeah, they maybe a horse ride, but I'm I'm not gonna let anybody watch me do circles on a horse for five minutes. Yeah, so pretty much just wanted to come in here and have a look around and kind of show off the possibilities. Uh, depending on your mods, I obviously went for um, the bigger stuff, sheds and so forth. Because after all, the uh, amount of room on this map is exceptional. Oh, oh yeah, that's the way. <laughs> I was gonna, oh, there we go. Roll the shade up there.
Huh. Sounds like something's broken. <laughs> Is that what's taking so long? Yeah. It's funny, I actually didn't even realize that that was there until probably uh, a week into this map. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, Do, do, do. I kind of took the easy way out. I actually had a <laughs> uh, a fire hydrant here too. My tongue. A fire hydrant beside each water trough that made it easy to pick up water. But I mean, if you've got the sixty thousand liter um, modded tank, you're good. All right. As for actual landscaping, the land, I did put a little bit of humps here and there. Not on the whole map, but just kind of in between here and the shops to give it some character. Not that you can see it all that much, but yeah. And then there's this over here, what I like to call one tree hill. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Oh yeah, the roads too. Could have got more creative and used um, two or three different textures for the roads. Make it look neat. Or even um, uh, plow it, cultivate it so that it's dirt and then, um, and then texture it. Trim it with texture. And, yeah. Try to be creative when it comes to roads. When you're driving on them and you, all you're seeing is that texture. <laughs> oh wow okay oh we won't be doing that today <clears throat> I think that's about it for this stream but I will be back on the no man's land map to continue to finish year one uh, so you can catch me there uh, have a good one. I'll see you all later.